So today I'm actually gonna share you some tips on how you can help yourself relieve TMJ-related pain. Hey, this is Dr. Matt. Remember to share and subscribe. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Bradbury, Family Corrective Chiropractor here in Georgetown, Ontario, at One Life Family Chiropractic. And today I actually wanted to share you some ideas on how you can help relieve TMJ-related discomfort. And also I want to share you some things that you may have never thought of before in terms of the relationship with the temporomandibular joint and what else may be going on leading to your challenge. So we're going to talk today about some release, some self-release techniques, some strengthening exercises, and also I want to talk about the upper neck and how that may be involved as well in your challenge. So when we think about the whole big picture, a lot of times you may be grinding, getting discomfort, you may be opening your jaw and noticing things shifting off side to side. Remember that there's some important muscles involved in the whole situation and also remember that your upper neck is involved. And the, the way I like to think about it is if you were to open your mouth, it's like moving your bicep and as well at the same time the back of your arm has to work to hold your arm together. So I think of this as my bicep, and this is the muscle on the back of my arm, my tricep. So the two have to work together as you move your temporomandibular joint. So for those of us with TMJ discomfort, I wanna talk about some of the anatomy and some of the things that you can do on your own, and also some of the things that I want you to consider at home and the health of your spine and your nervous system. So you'll see here we have a picture of some of the superficial muscles. We got the temporalis muscle all through here, like a big fan-shaped muscle. The masseter, which is a very powerful muscle in terms of chewing and mastication. And some of the techniques I'm going to teach you are how to release these muscles and then also how to strengthen them so they can help rebuild yourself. So I want you to consider the health of these muscles and how you move because they're becoming dysfunctional. And if you've gotten to the point where you've gotten discomfort, you've definitely reached a limit. Now consider stress, grinding, TMJ challenges are often all related. And a lot of the times, if you're not managing your stress response well, as well as you could be, you, know, you may be manifesting a sense of grinding, tight muscles, irritated joints. So consider the health of your spine and nervous system and the interesting part is is that in trying to aiming to manage um, your day-to-day -day posture if you're like this and how you move and how you interact with your environment corrective chiropractic may play a role in how you help interrupt that stress response because consider I want you to consider that when your brain is more stressed you're more tense and like this and what are you doing most of the day? you're probably sitting like this. So first of all, if you're just starting out, make sure you're standing up watching this video. Secondly, consider the health of your spine and nervous system and corrective chiropractic care because oftentimes these joints are becoming a problem as well and becoming dysfunctional and may be a factor in your TMJ problem. Now, in order to address some of these superficial muscles, what I'll actually do, get my three knuckles just like this and I'll put a nice soft surface together right here. And what I'll do is I'll actually find your jawbone right here, and I want you just to fall off onto the soft tissue mass. You definitely don't want to do it on the hard part. You want to do it more on the soft tissue part. So number one is actually just set yourself like this, and what you're going to do is just open up. And you'll notice I slide down as I open up. And I'll make five passes just like that. I may count four to five seconds as I open up. And you can start on the side of discomfort, but I'd also do the other side as well to help loosen you up altogether. So start there, three knuckles just like this, and coming down. Now also, some of the smaller muscles deeper in your jaw may be tight and tender. So what I want you to try is just take your middle finger like that and find where your jawbone is and where you open up in this area here in that soft tissue, what I want you to do is actually take your middle finger and reach up this way. So what you're gonna do is, you'll notice I'm open about halfway. And I may angle a little bit differently, but for the most part I'm angling up this way. And you can hold that. You may find yourself as the real sensitive trigger point through there. And what you're gonna do is just hold it 
And when it gets a little bit easier, you've done your job. Now you may be starting on the side of pain. Also try the other side because you may find you even have some trigger points over there. And you'll notice right where the gap is here, I'll reach up and just press back and hold. You may be there from 30 seconds to 90 seconds, just breathing, changing the angle a little bit until things get a little bit easier. Now, one of the other ones that I really like is actually learning to train your jaw against some resistance. And now you may be doing this one in front of the mirror, and what you're noticing is that you're shifting off side to side. Now, really important, put your focus to it and try to keep it so that your jaw remains midline and try not to let it deviate off to the side. Now, when you do this, I'm gonna open to a count of five. I just give myself a little bit of resistance so my jaw is pushing down into my thumb. And I'll do it to a count of five again. And I'll try five reps. So I can do that when I take my postural break at my desk in the morning, and then again at lunch hour, and then again in the evening. And you're starting to retrain the way your jaw moves. Now, one of the other stretches that I really like is take your middle finger on the TMJ joint on the side of discomfort. So I'll give a little bit of traction this way. And what I'm actually gonna do is push down. So this is more of an isometric exercise where you just hold it in position to a count of five. And what you're gonna do is reach your tongue onto the roof of your mouth. So I'm not gonna be able to talk during this one, I'm gonna show you. So I'll give myself a little bit of pressure on my TMJ joint. and then relax. I'll give pressure going down, pushing that tongue on the roof of my mouth, pause at the end range for five seconds, and this one I'll do with the finger contact on the TMJ side of discomfort. Now, some of the other things that you want to consider are those neck muscles that tie in to the way your neck moves, your shoulders, and those are all related to probably guessed it, your posture. And if you're getting to the point where your muscles are tight, maybe you're grinding, and you're experiencing that TMJ discomfort, then I still want you to address some of your neck muscles. And that's why I mentioned earlier that oftentimes you may be shifted and stuck, and that's why it's so important to be checked by a family corrective chiropractor to know what's going on on the inside, and if indeed you are stuck with nerve irritation as a factor in your overall TMJ challenge. Now. The SEM, the trap, I want to show you some simple ways to stretch those. And these are really good ones for just if you're at the desk and you stand up and take your bum break, I want to show you right now. So the SEM muscles, this one coming down right like, just like this, just like so through here. From here all the way up to here. And what you're going to do is actually do the lengthening position. So if it's going this way, you're going to look up like this and you wanna feel the tension going through here. Now breathe 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and I would try both sides opening them up. Even if you notice you have TMJ pain on one side, I would still work on both sides to help loosen your neck up. Now for your traps, what you're actually gonna do is think about all this muscle mass through here. What you're actually gonna do is, if it's your left side, I'm gonna have you look down gently at your right knee and pause. And I can feel right there all the tension through here. And again, when it gets a little bit easier, you've done your job, that may be in the range of 30, 60, 90 seconds. So you can see how we've gone from an approach of working on the soft tissue of the muscles through here, doing some strengthening exercises, and as well loosening up the neck muscles to help you adapt better and help solve that TMJ pain. So I'm gonna leave you with that today. And remember, the key to most of this is showing up consistently. So if you have yourself a standing desk, great. If not, start standing up more every 20 to 30 minutes. Start practicing your routine throughout the day to help loosen up your jaw muscles and surrounding tissues from your TMJ. And remember, consistency is going to be key in putting in those reps. Consider as well the health of your spine and your nervous system. And as I talked to you in the beginning about your bicep and your tricep, these two have to work together so you can be at your best, heal and function at your best as well. 
Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. And of course, in the past, I've shared with you that I got a big mission in terms of helping people understand their health, to have more function to be healthier, and as well, their spine and nervous system health. And I simply can't do it alone. So if you enjoyed this, you found it useful, please take a moment to click share, send it out to your feed, or even grab just the URL and grab it and send it in the email directly to someone you know may benefit from it. I really do appreciate your help and I hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.